because I'm almost embarrassed about this video, but this is a 2001 Cherokee that we've owned since October of 18. I had a plethora of mechanical issues. On my other channel, Fury 719, there's a whole bunch of teardown videos. Uh, basically, I rebuilt the entire top end of this engine. Um, but I thought about it the other day when I was still in Alabama. I've actually never cleaned the inside of this thing. I mean, I've wiped the dash down from time to time, but I've never actually have cleaned it. And yeah, it, I utilize it as my daily driver for right now, being my F-150 has been down for a little bit. Um, and then we'll do some more videos on that. But I got in here uh, when I arrived back home last Friday and I was like, oh my gosh, this thing's absolutely disgusting. So. We're just going to kind of do a quick clean. We might bring out the steamer. We got some new stuff to try from chemical guys and see what they can do as far as uh, cleaning some of these seats. But for the most part, I mean, it's really not bad. It's the third owner on this vehicle, uh, the lady who had it previously, I believe she was a librarian and just drove it to and from work. So she kept it fairly well maintained. One thing probably this summer I'll wind up doing is tearing this apart, strip it down and repaint it. The hood is an absolute just disaster. So it's not a bad little rig. So what we'll do is we've got the air compressor fired up. It's already pressurized. There's my engine for my F-150, five liter Coyote motor. Uh, it needs a, quite a bit of work done to it. And there in the back, you can kind of see where that's at right now. And then our other lovely project, the Brown Jeep, which did quite a bit of work before I had left my little TDY. We got the engine all set. So just kind of getting back in the swing of things here and seeing where I need to start and what I need to finish and all that fun stuff. But like I said, this thing needs an absolute just cleaning. I'll probably get some WeatherTech mats or some Husky liner mats or something. But this one almost has 280,000 miles on it. It's been a great little, great little rig. So we'll go ahead and get started here.